So friends, if you are using iPhone and if you have updated your iPhone to iOS 18 and after updating your software to iOS 18, if you are facing some bug issues and the phone is not working properly, if there is any battery issue, then how can you downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17? That process I'm going to show you in today's video. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, if you want to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17, there are a few things you need. First is you need a Mac or else if you have Windows laptop or PC, even that will work. And yeah, you do need a cable like this. So let's get started with the downgrading process. First of all, you need to open any particular browser. If you're using Windows or Mac, just open the browser and search for IPSW.me. Select the link over here. And this is the page if you want to downgrade on iPhone. So I'm going to select iPhone over here. And after selecting iPhone, you just have to select the model which you're using. So currently I'm using uh, 12 mini over here. So I'm going to select 12 mini. Once you select the model, you will get a signed IPHWs over here. And the one link which is in green color, you have to select that particular link only. The one which are in red, you just have to skip that. So tap on this green link over here and then select download option. Now this is 7.83 GB. So select download option and wait till the download is complete. Now till the file is downloading, let me clear out some things over here. Whenever you are downgrading from a beta version to a proper stable version, make sure that you backup all your files in your iPhone manually, not with the regular backup process. You just have to connect this device to any other device and you know, download all your photos and all. Because if you try to backup iOS 18 and if you try to reinstall in iOS 17, that thing is not possible. So make sure you manually backup all the files and data, whichever photos, files, everything uh, which is there in your phone, just manually backup it. Now, once the file is downloaded, after that, uh, you, all you have to do is just make sure you open settings in your iPhone. Just go in Apple ID and then select find my option over here. And if the find my iPhone option is on, make sure it is off because if find my is on, then you won't be able to restore your iPhone. Now, as soon as you hit that turn off button, it will ask you to enter your Apple ID password, enter the password and then select turn off. Now, after turning off find my iPhone, just make sure to connect your iPhone to your Mac device or if you're using Windows PC or laptop, just connect your iPhone to that. So let's do that very quickly. Now, as soon as you connect your iPhone to your Mac device or Windows PC or laptop, if you get a pop up like this, a software update is required to connect to A's iPhone or your iPhone name is there. Just select not now for uh, that time. And if you're getting any uh, permission over here or uh, if you're getting a pop up screen over there, make sure to select allow option. And later on, uh, once the iPhone is connected, you can go in finder option and then select your iPhone name over here. And on the right hand side, you get multiple options over here. Now we have to select this restore iPhone option. But if you're using a Mac, make sure you press option key first and then select restore iPhone. If you're using Windows device, then uh, select shift option uh, or shift key and then select restore iPhone. So I'm going to press option key for now and then select restore iPhone over here. And after that, you just have to select the downloaded file. So I have kept it on my desktop. So I'm going to select that IPSW file over here and then select open. Now it will give you a pop up screen. Your Mac will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 17.5.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. So just select restore option over here. And after uh, some time, it will start extracting the software. And later on, your iPhone will be switched off and the restore process will be done. Now, one more important thing, uh, make sure that your iPhone is connected all the time till the restore process is complete. Don't try to remove the cable from your iPhone or else the restore process won't be complete properly. So keep it connected. So guys, now you can see it has started restoring the software. So we just have to wait. Now, once the restore process is completed, you will get a notification on your Mac device or laptop that the restore is done and wait till your iPhone gets restarted. So it is restarting now. So I have to wait. And once uh, we get that hello screen, after that, we will just set up iPhone and I'll show you the iOS version of it. So guys, now you can see we have got this hello screen over here. So we will swipe up to open and now we have got the setup page over here. So I'm going to set it up very quickly and I'll show you the iOS version of it.
So now you can see we have got this welcome to iPhone page. So we'll swipe up. Now we have uh, you know successfully restored our iPhone or we have successfully download, uh, downgraded to iOS 17. So if I go in settings for now, now you can see the interface is back to the original one. Now if I go in gender and if I select software update over here, you can see iOS version is 17.5.1. So earlier it was iOS 18, now it is iOS 17. So yeah, this is how simple it is to downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17. Just make sure to follow each and every step which I have told you in this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.